Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna get off the weekly pack just because you probably can't play the weekly pack now. I think it's... I can, but I'm like, by the time this video comes out, you might not be able to, so I figured let's just be sane about it. Let's take two two ones um, that sell into apples. I think that's midterm bullish. I would take a seahorse um, and I guess put it at the front and freeze an iguana. Be a skilled swimmer. I don't think our team does well now, but I think maybe we lose our first two games and then the apples help us accelerate a little bit. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I definitely don't see us winning the first two rounds, though. With the, I mean, the stats don't get much worse. <laughs> but I think this gives us a chance to fight. And then we're really looking for, like, a strawberry. And we got one. Um, I would feed a strawberry to our iguana. And then buy a kiwi, which also has reasonably acceptable stats. So right now, the theme is very simple. We're going to be rolling a slightly larger iguana. Does the mouse get anything on level up? Are we about to win a round? Holy cow. What a world. Okay. It must do something on level up, but nobody knows what it is. I'm going to sell a kiwi. I'm going to buy a pug and just work with me for a minute. Because we could technically make a mouse that levels up every round. Uh, or we could just make our mouse level up. But what that means to me is that, like, we could, in theory, get, like, a jellyfish popping every round. You know what I mean? Like, a jellyfish could get one temporary stat buff every round, which is not that good, but it's something. Hey, why don't you become, like, a 4-6 as a result of this pug? What, what did we get? Two apples. Holy cow, why didn't you say so? Freeze me a salamander. I know I was talking a big game about the jellyfish. I think it's not very good. The more I thought about it, I was like, why am I talking about... Uh... Holy cow, what a shot. Why am I talking about like being excited about these stats? Like a temporary 1-1 one -one versus a, a permanent 1-1 one -one from the apple. If we could get the jellyfish to have a lot of permanent bonuses, yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen, man. Here's what I do think could happen, though. I think, could we buff, I think if you buff a donkey here, you're laughing all the way to the bank. Sell me, Cause just because his stats are good by the game standards right now. Sell me, you got two gold and two apples. Then, buy me, sell me, and I still think a two cost apple is a great place to be. Now, a salamander interests me. I would need to see more start of battle mechanics. Now, the salamander only gets plus one attack now. It's not that much, but that's something. Why don't we give you one of those? There you go. Now you got a plus one attack. That's very nice. I'll be honest. If you're ever going to pop, we're going to need to give you more HP. One way to do that is like we could swap you with a lollipop or something like that. But I also think that this is pretty good. So we're not trying to make an iguana work necessarily even though it's got a strawberry that was just like a kind of a cupcake with more steps i don't know what we're doing <laughs> i think right now the crux of this build is that our donkey has good stats okay and then the pug has started battle effects so it's easy to stack salamander plays there start a battle start a battle okay we got to get some start of battles so, we need to create space. The seahorse goes first. The donkey and the iguana can work with each other. Why don't you get one extra HP per turn? Why don't you give me a start of battle? Roll me. I do like buying and selling you, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass once more. You're not a start of battle. Enemy hurt make weak. I think it's okay, but you know what? We're going to keep rolling on this for now. I think our squad has like pretty good stats for where we stand. Just being honest. I don't know if our pug has great long-term potential. I don't know if we can really stand to go up against these koala teams uh, in our lives. I don't think we're going to do 11 damage to you. Hold on. Oh my god. We drew? I can't believe it. That feels amazing. I love this for me. You're also start of battle. It's such a big, like, buy-sell mechanic, though. You're going to get two experience at the start. 
there's got to be units for whom that matters more. Like, I can get rid of a puffin. That doesn't bother me. I can buy a panda. That doesn't bother me. Our panda could then, honestly, level up and then feed that to our donkey, and I would be okay with that, I think. I'm using the, the full scope of my mind right now. Maybe the pug... Uh, you're also start a battle, so I got to think about it. But maybe the pug hitting level three becomes an insane enabler on something like our lion if the lion shows up soon. Now, I'm still alive. That's a very unfortunate trade for us. We're definitely going to lose this. Uh, that's crazy. They're rocking a level two kiwi. Holy cow. You don't see that too often. But I'm still feeling okay. Like... I like that. If I'm being honest with you, I definitely think like Iguana can go. I, I don't care. Like getting one damage at this point of our lives is like worth nothing. But am I really buying units to just give one attack to my Salamander? I am, but it's annoying me. <laughs> I don't feel like it's the right play. It's just what I'm doing. Um, I understand, but let me think about this. Like, I'm, there's a part of me that says, you know what? You're an 11-8. Let's make our woodpecker stronger. Let's have this woodpecker, like, maybe, you know, pop some uh, 1 HP units at the front if they exist, or at least do some damage. It's going to pop that puffin. I'm, I'm a genius. Holy cow. Although we did lose all of our best units. What? Or no, we lost all of our worst units. Wow, I can't believe we won that. Um, I don't know where to stand <laughs> on this game right now. Start a battle. Start start a, You know what? You get 50% bonus health. Interesting. It's an interesting thing to think about. I think the panda can go first. Why am I still buffing this salamander at this point? It's getting... It's such a meager statistical gain. But you're actually not going to get 50% bonus health, you're going to get 100% bonus health because you're about to get two extra experience. Which is going to give you 8 HP. Is that worth anything? O only time will tell, I guess I would say. I don't know. Level 2 donkey? You need a fox. I would, as good as the woodpecker was for us last time, I would sell a fox or sell it to get a fox. Its effects would be tripled. I would do that immediately. And I hope that it steals this. Because it'll lose 2 HP, it'll gain 12 attack. We're taking a chance. Ooh! Okay, now, obviously the problem is that it's got 1 HP. But it can scale mighty quick, man. It can scale mighty quick. Oh, no, 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 because it's at the start of battle. The fox's ability is at the start of... Okay, it's not at the end of turn. No, the pug's ability is at the start of battle. My mistake. My, 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 I was getting too excited. Okay, I apologize. So let me just tell you, I, I would love it if you ate that. I would love you to get some more HP, don't get me wrong. Okay, yes. Now, as for why we're still rolling a salamander, don't talk to me. <laughs> I don't know. You, I don't think you're going to be it for us long term, unless we could give you some buffs. You know what? You got to start a battle effect. You're scaling our salamander. You give a lot of HP. I would say, I mean, honestly, why don't we add this on the unit that, in that case, you should go here. Okay, very smart, although you could get you to level three as well. Um, I don't know, I feel like you should be like at the front because you're like a glass cannon right now. But for now, let's have you get some HP and then distribute four attack to three different units. Okay, we could have given it to the eel as well, don't get me wrong, but I, I feel like we're onto something here. Now our eel is getting double attack power. You got pushed to the back. That might prove to be very nice. You got pushed back there. Okay, okay, okay. Something's happening here. We're, we're spinning. That's win number four, though. I got to think about this. We don't really want a fox to steal a green pepper. I think. Um, green pepper is great. The squad just doesn't really warrant it right now. You can freeze a taco for more attack. I guess at this point, we're, we're a little pot committed on our salamander. 
There's definitely a part of me that says just flip your Salamander stats because it's easier to give it attack than it is to give it HP. But there's another part of me that says, why not just roll two foxes? Sell? Okay, I mean, we're not going to steal two foods this turn. That would be the big reason why. Then just freeze me. Roll me once. An eel that levels up on its own. Swap me for three. Eat this. Don't hit the, the donkey. It, it is what it is. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. I see so many strawberries. What's happening here? We've just been cycling units around for no reason. There's no way we live through this. Unless the ant hitting the unit at the back actually is going to make it doable. I don't believe it. Somehow, dude, there's no way we're scaling as fast as like the average team we're going up against, though. Okay, now you go to level two, also buffing the salamander in the process. I would love to give two random pets more attack. You can go, and the play, as I see it, is actually two foxes. You're going to get 150% bonus health, which almost is starting to make you, like, useful. I don't want anybody to eat popcorn, I'm sorry to say, because it's, it's delectable food. I don't want anybody to eat a fortune cookie. Soup is a perfect pickup. Now, a level two fox can also do some great stuff for us here. So with three, oh, but we need to keep two space. Okay, this is fine. We buy a fox or an eel. Let's get an eel for now, because it'll also buff our salamander. And then, maybe you can move to the front now. Two foxes at the back. Now we will get great food distribution. I would love it if our eel got some of the bonus HP, considering how it's going to scale off of it, but... Hold on, I'm seeing a lot of strawberries again, and I'm not feeling too bad. My eel freaking lived. That's a new one. We're doing damage? My god. To win, lose, and then come back with some wins is, is, a, is a great feeling. But you remember, you're on lethal, okay? We would really love it if you got some broccoli. But we could also buy this for free. Strawberry, we don't care for. Soup, we care for. Let's keep that frozen and roll the shop looking for pairs of animals we already have. Admittedly, combining our foxes and then getting a lion that would be level two. It would get three XP, so it would be a 9-9 nine, nine level two. It would become an 18-18. I sleep. That's not, that's not good enough anymore. I'm sorry to tell you that's not good enough. We continue rolling for pairs. Nothing. Nothing. An eel. Why not? Now, please feed the eel the broccoli. You fed yourself the broccoli. The eel got some of the stew. I'll take that. I can live with that. Hold on. That's that's a strong looking uh, leech back there. But then the rest of the squad, it's not altogether that scary, is it? We draw these. Okay, it's still living though. And still buying a lot of food every turn. I like two foxes more than a level two fox right now, but that can change quickly. Keep popping. Do we want to see level three? Now you don't need the pug bonus anymore. I actually think we could, that means we could probably sell a pug and put something else out there. We could combine foxes, create a level two vulture. Hold on. <laughs> I think we're going to leave the team as is for now. And we'll just have you get buffed. We really don't want a green pepper, though. The soup is fine. We want distributed foods. Not a grape. A taco is perfect. Okay. Food to the eel, please. Taco to the eel. Soup to the eel. We love to see it. That's the anthem. Get your dang gills up. It's It's a long one. <laughs> But we're still hanging. Hold on, this seems fine. This seems, if any, it seems great. You go ahead, run your scumbag vulture build, see if I care. Oh no, I got sniped. Guess what? We draw! Okay, turns out their team is actually still pretty good. But we're still alive. I'm not sweating it. I guess we would love more salamanders. But only to there, probably. We're not gonna, we don't have time to scale more. We're on lethal. It's round 14. I think that's astute. Level two makes a lot of sense, though. That's great. 
Now, I got to tell you, I, I kind of don't love the idea of buying food, but I feel like the food provides us with a great benefit right now if it allows our eel to land one more shot. A peach is acceptable, but I would love to see a distributed food. Instead, we're going to get a fortune cookie on one of our foxes. That's probably the one you... I don't know. Wait, at some point, we are going to combine them. I was just hoping we would see another fox first. Now, this is a scary-looking team. They got, they got some strength of their own. They got a green pepper, but I got a green pepper. Don't spawn anything. <laughs> okay, we're, we're drawing. I think we can still get over this hump. You can laugh all you want. I think we're getting over this hump. I love this. Combine me. Buy me. Could have added a start of battle effect first, but I'm, I'm pleased with this. We look for a distributed food. No? Yes, very good. Now look for pears in the shop. We want to end on zero gold, of course. I'd love to see the orange go to the eel after getting tripled. I don't know what happened, quite honestly. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I don't know how to feel about this one either. Maybe I'm feeling okay. Crit. <laughs> we got there. It's like the hardest six win match I've ever I've ever fought. Not broccoli. Holy cow. I mean two level two foxes will be kind of pog, don't get me wrong. Let's start there. We want it, but we also want to make sure our foods look right. Not good enough. These foods are not good enough. And there's actually no benefit to having this one be level 2 and double a useless effect. So I think it's better to roll for distributed foods. I'm not, I'm not holding the broccoli out there. I'm not holding two green peppers out there. They have to be distributed foods. What's the worst case scenario? Okay, let me, let's just go over the cases here, okay? A lollipop swap on our eel might actually be good, maybe? A swap on our salamander is probably the worst. It swapped a fox. I think that's totally fine. This seems terrible, though. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's fine? I can't believe you only lived through one trigger. I think we got super lucky. Green pepper me. You're going to spawn like a thousand units here. This is going to be is going to be a little scary. I think we're dead. I think we finally lost it. I know we finally lost. And not getting any crits doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's the hardest I've ever worked for six wins. But I felt like we were in the mix and we were learning something in the process there. So I'm, I'm not disappointed in the slightest. Now, this is a classic start here. Very classic start. I think if you have no other options, you would maybe look at a mouse and say, it's fine because we sell it into an apple later. Let's be a soft nose. Dude, honestly, the pug did some kind of work for us on that one, too. I was... I'm not saying it's an always take, but it, it might be like a sometimes take. Okay. I still think the guinea pig is just horrendous, man. Like, it's funny, but... I think it's, it's almost unusable. I would roll two mice, because we won our last round. I'm feeling okay about our overall team. I wouldn't combine anything. Um, so let's... Any of our other two units. So let's make a seahorse slightly stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. They have an iguana but no seahorse. I feel good about that. I feel good about this. I feel great about that. You have a cockroach. I am a little surprised this team went 2-0 considering we got two mice, but I'll live with that. We'll level up our mouse if we have to to tear up, but we don't have to. Okay. Now I'll tell you, I, actually, I, I liked what our salamander did for us last time. Start me off with this. That's a start of battle effect. I'm a simple man. Buy me a salamander. Sell a mouse. Apple the salamander. Sell the mouse. Apple your salamander. Buy a woodpecker. Maybe it kills something at the start of battle there. And on faint, summon a level one pet that will be a tier one as well. Hmm. So we're using the woodpecker to snipe the enemy right now. Normally you'd like to use it to activate like hurt triggers on, on your units, I think. But I'll take what I can get right now. 
It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I don't know if we're making it through this one. Uh, we're definitely making it through this one. It wasn't even that close. Salamander's doing some work already. Looking for start of battle effects and salamanders. So, what's the most disposable unit? Stork. Swap it for a start of battle effect. Broccoli could probably work on you, but I'd rather just build your stats and then swap you around later. Now, you're a... Again, you might find this as overkill, but you're a start of battle effect. I don't really think we want our iguana to get stronger. I think part of the skill of this pack is recognizing, like, when you're tapped. And I think we're tapped on... Uh, on wanting to... Uh, to level the iguana any further than this. So sell me. Why don't you buy me a, a start of battle effect? And honestly, why don't you just give me a 2-4 that has no upside whatsoever? Because <laughs> I'm not going to spend the gold necessary to enable a Kiwi Strawberry, okay? So instead, we'll throw out a couple of cheeky snipes there. We definitely lose this. There's no way we're getting past that iguana. It's a strong iguana. That's the power of, uh, you know, strawberries, birds, etc., etc. Nothing that appeals to me. Look at start of battle. Okay, and this is an unacceptable start of battle, I think. I, I don't mind this. I could sell you and run a donkey. It makes our iguana better, and we already got the effect out of the woodpecker. I also think a cucumber did good work for us last time. You're not a start of battle. You're very important for the squad. I'm not sweating. It. I'm, I'm st still... Even though we lost that last round, we're three wins in four rounds. And I think that this team can pop. They got their own pug. Oh my god. I think we draw. That's not so bad. They got their own salamander too. Okay, the salamander's doing some work. Keep it going. That's the start of battle effect. Are we getting rid of anything? I think we got to recognize our iguana is probably not going to last that much longer. So Iguana Donkey allows you the space to sell the seahorse, I think, for now, and engage in a slow pivot. I'm all in on this Salamander, man. It's so hard, I think, to find scaling. Now, I do feel like um, these donkeys allow us to get a level two donkey temporarily with the pug so the iguana maybe goes first there's still some value in just screwing up their order maybe <laughs> you're a 1017 unit huh it's really hard to get one over on like an iguana that's been buffed and then has a uh, the extra uh bird buff on it as well but so be it on faint give experience but we don't have like a mantis or anything just yet i would say combine very important. Start of turn, a random frozen shop pet. So you're like a back to substitute. Or enabler. What the heck? I think I have to keep you. <laughs> for now. Um, and maybe move you up to the front. Maybe you can do a little bit more damage up at the front here. Maybe. Um... And we're going to want to buy the salamanders. Don't get me wrong. We just want to make sure we're also taking advantage of any start of battle effects that we can get off of them. And I'm not fully convinced that we're doing the right thing. I'm a little scared. I'm not convinced that we got... We're going to win this one. I love beating koala teams. Okay. What is that? Four wins? Not on lethal. That's the most important part. We're not on lethal. Okay, what do I like? Um, I like to get guaranteed effects. So let's start there. Honestly, go ahead and dump this iguana. It's a stats game now. Go ahead and buff your salamander. I would say go ahead and swap the stats of your salamander. Roll me. I'm taking a, a bet here. My bet did not pay out. Roll me once more. Looking for start of battles. These are not start of battles. Friend ahead faints. Push first enemy to the back. So you're going to guarantee a faint trigger, which is kind of pog. Don't get me wrong. 
Is an 11-18 good enough right now? No. But at least the Mantis is going to get pushed. Thank you. Thank you. Why is your whole team so strong? <laughs> I accept the, most of your units being stronger than mine, but all of your units being stronger than mine? How does this happen? Okay, we really need, like, some start of battle effects. Post haste. Forget that. I don't. We're not going further into this. You've done. You've done what I've done. What you've asked. Buy me. Is a big buy sell. I love that. Start of battle effects. Anybody? Anybody up looking for start of battle effects? I'm very much like 50-50 on whether we live through this. Hold on. I'm feeling bad. Bad is what I'm feeling. That's that emotion. <laughs> All right. Well, our first attempt at the salamander went a little better than our second. I just, I don't know what happened there. We got a lot of salamanders, but not a lot of start of battle effects. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!